All right, folks, we are back here in 2020 with another coffee and another coffee video. This is our first coffee video of 2020. Grab yourself a cup, your favorite brew, sit back, put your feet up. Let's get going. It is 2020. This is the first coffee bar video of the year. And today we're going to be talking about Nabob's whole bean coffee. I'm going to give you a little bit of history about Nabob's. i got to grind these beans yet. And uh, i got some information for you about the channel and where the channel is going. But first let me get these beans in here and we'll talk. Alright, we got the grind done. You can smell the flavors in it. That's a good sign. Right out of the grind box. As you know, as always, first black, then with milk. But first, let's talk a little bit about Nabob. 1896 is the beginning of Nabob Coffee Company. It all began with two passionate Vancouverites. Robert Kelly and Frank Douglas created Kelly Douglas and Company in Gastown. A quaint neighborhood in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, it was a factory on Water Street. So there you go. Two Canadians started Nabob Coffee Company. And it does not say on the website, but uh, Nabob is owned by is now owned by Craft Canada. But it doesn't say when that took place. Now I'm trying to find some information on this particular coffee, and the reason is is because the print on this bag is so small that. I'd need a pair of binoculars to actually read it. But uh, on the front, it says it's a medium roast. They're scoring the quality of the coffee here, which is the body's an 8 and the acidity's a 5. And I've never seen that before. Never seen it. Also tells you what you can expect in the coffee, and that's great because it gives you something to actually look for. So when you, when you smell the coffee, it, it smells like a, a deep, rich coffee. When you taste this coffee, uh, you're supposed to have a hint of cocoa, as well as a earthy and smoky flavor. So we're going to try that here in a second. And that's it for uh, Nabob Coffee Company. This particular brand here, though, uh, came from Guatemala. But I'm going to give you a little bit of content on the bag because I appreciate this. I think you will, too, if you love coffee. Because you know the extent that the coffee farmers go to get us our coffee. More than 60% is Rainfor Alliance certified whole bean coffee. So basically what this is saying is that Nabob is giving back and helping the farmer as well, which uh, is desperately needed. I mean, come on folks, we drink this coffee day in and day out. We drink everybody's coffee day in and day out. And then those people are working pretty hard for us to enjoy this coffee. So um, again, this bean is from Guatemala, single source. All right, we're going to get this started here. I forgot to actually hit the button. All right, what's going on with the channel? Well. Here's the deal, and ignore the noise of this uh, chainsaw of a Keurig running behind me. So my uploads over the past couple of months have kind of eh, weighed off a little bit, and there's a reason for that. It's because I was trying to grow my channel even more, and I started watching a lot of these influencers, and I hate doing this, but a lot of these influencers on YouTube, and they were telling you that if you want to really grow your channel, you have to pick a topic, one topic, and go with it. I'm like... But I like five or six different things. But I'm going to give it a try. Hunting and fishing. As you notice, there's very little coffee videos. So it's hunting and fishing because that's what I really like to do. The issue with that is, is that I work a full-time job. So I don't hunt and I have an awesome family. So I don't hunt and fish every day as much as I would like to. That just does not happen. So there is no video to upload because I could only fish or hunt a limited amount of time. So, the videos kind of uh, weighed off a little bit. The subscriber count went down, and you know, I'll be honest, I used to obsess over the numbers, the subscriber numbers, the views, and this and that. Don't care anymore. 
I like this. I like communicating with you guys that come here each and every week to, to watch my videos. And I do appreciate you taking time out of your day to do that. And uh, that means a lot. And I always get kind comments down below. Everybody's leaving kind comments. I don't get mean comments, which makes it uh, a whole lot easier to do. But back to my original topic. So that everything started declining, the lack of videos. I went a couple weeks, two, three weeks without uploading a video, which is unheard of. Because I was uploading two to three times a week, sometimes four times a week. And I thought to myself, this just isn't right. Shortly before or after Christmas, anyways, um, I watched a video by everybody knows him, Peter McKinnon. And it's about his channel. And he was he was on his video stating that he was catching some grief in the comments about people not liking some of his content because it was supposed to be a videography and a photography channel. Now, Peter McKinnon has millions of subscribers and... He doesn't miss a few here and there, and I understand that, but, but I give him credit, a lot of credit. He stood, sat there, and he looked at the camera, and he said, this is my channel, and I will upload what I want to upload. And it was that simple. And that resonated with me because I had stopped uploading coffee videos, travel, stuff like that, for the sake of the hunting and fishing, because that, that is what I really like to do. But aside from hunting and fishing, it's coffee travel, family vlogs, going different places, eating different food, barbecues, all kinds of stuff. Everybody tells you, all the influencers tell you that if you want to grow on your on YouTube, you have to pick one topic and go with it. I'm not going to get to a million subscribers anytime soon, and I'm just happy making these videos for you guys. So, I'm going back to the way it used to be. You click on that little play button, you don't know what you're going to get. It's either going to be a coffee video, hunting and fishing, travel, a whole lot of nothing or I'm cooking and eating something or as in my last video I just put up I'm traveling to a local brewery or a winery or a restaurant to try out their food that's an interesting concept I will get into that in another video anyway listen coffee's done enough rambling on that's where we're going here in 2020 we're going back to the way it used to be I'm gonna upload whatever I want to upload and we're gonna run with it you good you like you good with that Anything you want to see me try, leave it in the comments down below. Alright, so enough rambling on, let's get to the coffee. Remember, cocoa and earthy and smoky flavor. I can taste the cocoa and the uh, smoky flavor. Wow, that's pretty good black. I didn't think it was going to be that good black, but... That's pretty good. I could drink that black. I should also tell you that it says on the bag that this is drinkable any time of day. And it is, as you know, I really like the dark roast, but uh, this is a medium. And it is drinkable any time of day. Have you noticed I'm getting less and less milk in my coffee? It ain't going to be long before I'm not putting any in at all. That really bring, brings out the smoky flavor in it. Um, I would I would actually drink this coffee black. Drink it without milk. It's that good. All right. Well, there we have it. Nabob Coffee Company whole beans from Guatemala medium roast. Not sponsored yet. <laughs> I say it every time. This coffee, this coffee is good. Coffee is definitely worth trying. And I think I paid, uh, I think it was approximately $7 I paid for this almost one pound bag of coffee. So that's a pretty good deal. That's a, actually a really good deal. So, enough rambling on. You know where the channel is going. We are back with another coffee video and uh, excited for 2020. Excited to bring you a bunch of new stuff. Excited to bring you some new things, new videos, new experiences. And I, I'm really glad to bring you along with me. I sound like I felt like I was just pushing you out the door. <sighs> Some things never change. All right, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Ella and I are off to go fishing, and yes, we're bringing the camera for that one too. But you're not going to see that till another day. I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. And remember, what do I always say? The best way to drink coffee 
is the way you like to drink it. See ya.